Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. How are you doing? If you guys haven't already, I encourage you to watch the video earlier that was published earlier today in relation to Qatar and Oman, Qatar rather and Jordan and why they're good preparation games for Jamaica ahead of the world, the, the Gold Cup. Qatar and Jordan. Why are they good preparation games for Jamaica ahead of the Gold Cup? That is what we looked at. So I encourage you to hit the like button and also subscribe as well so you can get more of this yesterday. Also some information in relation to where are they now? Remember the Jamaican team that took on Brazil in 2003? Where are they now? The Jamaican team that defeated the United States in 2015? Where are they now? The Jamaican team that defeated Chile in 2016? Where are they now? Many people ask, where are these players? Are they still playing? Are they into coaching? Are they involved in football at all? You know, these are some genuine questions that some people wonder what these persons are up to in terms of their life post playing, you know, and it's, I must say, it's absolutely fantastic to see so many former national players involved in football still. And I think it's tremendously encouraging when you see all of that into fruition. You know, we've spoken so much about Joby McEnough, he's in punditry, but he has experience in coaching as well. Darren Moore, the same as well for him. And, you know, the experience that he has garnered over time is also something to make special note about from that aspect as well. Now, with that being said, no. <clears throat> there are others. The Andy Williams, the Tyrone Marshalls of this world, the Claude Davises, and we could go on and on. Honestly, Frank Sinclair, we can go on and on from the coaching standpoint. But let's, you know, zero in in relation to the topic of this video in particular and give you guys a bit of information so that you can say, hmm, okay, so this can work out here or this can work out there, all right? So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to put on the screen right now information for you guys to be able to see, all right? How does that sound? Sounds good? Good. Now, this summer's Gold Cup is the 17th edition of the Gold Cup. <clears throat> That's right. <clears throat> this summer, the 17th edition of the Gold Cup. It's set to run from June 16 to July 16. June 16 is the start of the preliminaries. And of course, June 24 is when actually the, the group stages for the tournament commence. Okay? So that you're fully aware with things. Good. 16 teams. 15 venues in this tournament. The group stages, June 24 to July 4. Quarterfinals, shortly after that. The final itself on the 16th. Okay, good. All right, so now that we have that sorted, let's recap the teams that will participate at the Gold Cup for sure. We still have a few more qualifiers. Who are the 13 for sure? Qatar, Panama, Jamaica, El Salvador, Mexico, the United States, Haiti. Costa Rica, Canada, Honduras, Cuba, Nicaragua, Guatemala. And Jamaica in Group A alongside the United States, Nicaragua. And Prelim Match 9. And who are one of those teams from Prelim Match 9? Well, from Prelim Match 9, it's one of four teams. All right, we have Match 3 versus we have Match 4. Okay, it's going to be one of Curacao. St. Kitts and Nevis, French Guyana, St. Martin. One of those four. You know, personally, I think it might be Curacao or French Guyana in terms of that match nine. I think it might be of that. But let's see, you know, because in football, we see compelling things. So let's see how all of this sort of unfolds. You know what I'm saying? So to the important point in relation to the question, Jamaica, as we know, a friendly international against Qatar on June 16th. Right. So now that we have that sorted, figured out, let's look at an important point. And that is in relation to the element of, yep, that's right, Qatar. And Qatar in group B, right? And in group B, they have Mexico, Haiti, Honduras. That's group B for the tournament. Mexico, Haiti, Honduras. <clears throat> in many people's eyes, group C is the group of death with Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, and play match winner eight. Or is it Group B with Mexico, Haiti, Honduras, and Qatar? And what is Group D? Group D, Canada, Guatemala, Cuba, 
and put in match winner seven. Maybe Trinidad, maybe Guyana. Let's see. Remember, Qatar are in group B, Jamaica are in group A. All right, good. So now that we have that sorted out, let's proceed. Remember, Jamaica are in group A and Qatar are in group B. So if Jamaica finishes, for an example, runners up of group A, they'll finish face the winner of group D, could be Canada, right? And Jamaica would end up playing the, the winner of group B in the semifinals. Winner of group B could be Mexico, perhaps? Let's say, for an example, though, that Jamaica is the winner of group A. If Jamaica is the winner of group A, they play the run-up of group D. That could be Guatemala. That could be Trinidad. That could be Cuba, if Jamaica wins group A. Now, with that being said, Winner of Group C, some people might say Panama, some people might say Costa Rica. And runner up of B, that could be Qatar. So what would that mean? That would mean that Jamaica would have an opportunity to face Qatar in the semifinals. If Jamaica and Qatar both progress from their group and win their respective quarterfinal, there is a strong possibility that Jamaica would face Qatar in the semifinals. So this friendly match is important for many reasons. Yes, preparation is one. But there's another aspect of things as well as both teams could meet again in July. They'll meet in June in a friendly in Austria. But the opportunity also presents itself that Qatar could also meet Jamaica in the semifinals of the Gold Cup itself. Where are we? We It's important to be aware of all the possibilities. And we make notes, okay, this is what the Qataris did. And we can make note as the tournament progresses. All right? So this is something that you guys can be fully aware about. So the there is a strong chance, a very strong chance that this could actually become a reality. Okay, guys? So thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Your thoughts about potentially playing Qatar twice? Do you think this is a wonderful move for Jamaica? Because as we know, right after the Gold Cup, it's the Nations League. You know, and the Nations League, the matches are going to come bam, 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 you know, quick file, and it's going to be quite rapid. You know what I'm saying? So thank you all so much for tuning in. Grateful for your support. If you guys haven't already, hit the like button. And after you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys Commentary. Okay, guys?